Okay, hello. Uh, I'm going to show you something that I, uh, I encountered like while I was doing my own tutorial online, and it could be useful to some people out there. Um, I've got a standard uh, scene, a blender scene, with just one cube. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by rolling my mouse wheel. There you go. I'll hit the tab key to go into edit mode. Then select my uh, edge tool. Uh, click on this like a uh, front edge and go Ctrl R to create an edge loop. I left click and left click again. So the edge, edge loop is in place. Now I'll enable um, X-ray mode. There you go. So it's see through. I press down my mouse wheel and I move my mouse up a little bit so I can rotate my cube. There you go. I'll go into vertex mode and click and drag to only select the top four vertices. Then I press H to hide them. H. There you go. I then go back to my edge, uh, sorry, my, yeah, my edge tool. I click on this bottom edge here and go Ctrl R again. I roll my mouse wheel. Uh, one, two, three, four, a whole bunch of them. I just add some, okay. I left click and left click again to confirm. Then I select this other edge here. Again, Ctrl R. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, a whole bunch of them. Left click, left click again. Now, the interesting thing is that if you, do, if you now do an Alt H, unhide, just notice like how all those edge loops are not applied to the hidden faces. And that could be quite useful when you're working on like more complex, uh, more complex models. Just something I didn't know myself. I, I came across it today and I went like, let's record a small tutorial. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'm going to make like way more of them, okay? Have fun!